Welcome back. It's officially cross country season. Change is in the air. The geese are flying south and it's time for the crunch of fallen leaves under your cross country racing shoes. It's time for the September Brooks PR Challenge Medal Ceremony. What's that smell? Oh, that's right, it's fall. So we've swapped out track for cross country and Taco Tuesday for Stew Tuesday. Stew's day. Ooh, yeah, we got a good one here. Now that's PR fuel if I've ever seen it. But you know what else you should do in the fall? Always have some extra socks on hand, or excuse me, on foot. That's why I start my day with no fewer than three pairs of socks. That way if one gets wet or dirty, or if I spill some stew on it, I just peel off a layer. Ooh, nice. And the worst case scenario is that your feet are just extra toasty all day. And this here is the all new Brooks PR Challenge sock that you can earn. Any Athletic Net member who submits a personal record this month will be entered into a drawing to win one of 2,500 pairs of these bad boys given away this season. So let's recognize a few of those PR earners right now. Let the ceremony begin. We bestow this badge of honor upon the Athletic Net competitors who submitted a personal record mark this month. Here are just a few of those PRs. So, when Athletic Net members earn a PR, they get rewarded with a congratulatory email presenting them with their Brooks PR Challenge badge for the month. This month, we received an interesting reply from Zygmunt Villobos at the NSL Jamboree 1. He PR'd in the 5K with a 2031, and he informed us, I did it with no shoes on for a mile. LOL. <laughs> Nice work, Sigmund. Maybe next time you'll at least have some socks to run in. Ryan Almong was rocklin' and rollin' at the Jessup Invitational in Rockland, California. Posted up a nice photo with his team here as he ran a PR in the Varsity 3 Mile taking 23rd with a 1625, already running about 40 seconds faster than he did last season on a 3 mile course. Well, this isn't something you see every cross country season, a thrower's meet. At the Crusader Thrower's Fall Meet in Tumble, Texas, Nicholas Baroto took advantage of the off-season opportunity and PR'd in the discus, taking the win with a throw of 137 feet 6 inches. That's about a 10 foot PR for him. Wait a minute, am I seeing this right? In Glenview, Illinois, Messiah Zaire took 24th place in a mile against mostly 5th and 6th graders, but she was by far the youngest in that race, only a 2nd grader, and ran a 6.24. Alejandro Ramirez PR'd in the girls' varsity 3 mile at the Gold Mine Invitational in Auburn, California, as she took 4th with an 18.53 and posted up a bunch of great photos. That's over 30 seconds faster than her best time at this distance from last year. I had to feature this one because ouch, look at that hill. These guys need an escalator or a gondola. Devin Dixon PR'd at the BPS League Meet at Owings Mills, Maryland, taking third with a 2025. Wow, seventh grader Emiliano Vieira won the seventh grade two mile at the Troy XC Invite in Illinois. He ran a PR 1058 and then PR'd again next week with a 1049. Very impressive for a seventh grader. And Janai Taylor took seventh at the Angel Invitational in Kenosha, Wisconsin, bringing home some hardware, but the shiniest of all is her new 5K PR, 20 flat. To see all the PR submissions, go to the Athletic app and search hashtag BrooksPR. To date, we have seen 47,878 individuals submit PRs in the month of September. Take the badge and wear it proudly. All right, that'll do it for this month. I'm off to go put some more sock layers on just in case I spill some stew on my feet. All right, remember, the only way to lose a PR is if you break it yourself. We'll see you next month. Go get a PR.